is about is about is actually about the future of our country, not the future of a divided Conservative yeah. Party. Now, would the Prime Minister agree with me that it's also not just about Britain's place in the European Union, but also Britain's place in the world? President Obama has been crystal clear that if Britain were to leave the European Union, it would weaken, not strengthen, the special relationship. The Indians, the Chinese, are mystified that we're even risking exit from the European Union. Would he agree with me that if Britain in the future wants to stand tall in New Delhi, in Beijing, in Washington, in other global capitals, Britain must continue to stand tall in our own European neighbourhood? Yeah, yeah. I, d I think he is. I think the hon right honourable gentleman is right that we should make this decision ourselves as a sovereign nation and a sovereign people. But I think it is worth listening to our friends and listening to what they think it is best for our country. And I have to say, in all the leaders and, and, and politicians I've met uh, around the world, I can't think of any of our friends, not Australia, not New Zealand, not Canada, not America, uh, who want us to leave the EU. The only person I can think who might want us to leave the EU is Vladimir Putin. And I don't think that is someone who's as for what uh, my, my, the right honourable gentleman and my former colleague said about, uh, about the need for this referendum. I would make the slightly cheeky point that we are implementing the 2010 Lib Dem manifesto by holding it. <laughs> Right honourable friend, the Prime Minister, to explain to the House and, and to the country in exactly what way this deal returns sovereignty over any field of lawmaking to these Houses of Parliament. This deal brings back some welfare powers, it brings back some immigration powers, it brings back some bailout powers, but more than that, because it carves us forever out of ever closer union, it means that the ratchet of the European court taking power away from this country cannot happen in future. And to those who worry, and people do worry, that in somehow if we vote to remain in, the consequence could be more action in Brussels to try and change the arrangements we have. We have a lock in this House of Commons. No power can be passed from Britain to Brussels without a referendum of the British people. So we have a better deal. We have a special status. We have a chance to make sure we build on what we have. We protect our people. We enhance our prosperity. And that's the choice we should make. Ed Miliband. Mr Speaker, let me uh, thank the Prime Minister for quoting and indeed implementing parts of the 2015 <laughs> Labour Manifesto. I, I want to go, Mr Speaker, to the big picture question here, which is about how we influence things in our national interest. And I want to draw the Prime Minister out on the powerful end of his statement, which is this question. Of course, by being a member of the European Union, we don't always get our own way. But as he said to the right honourable member for Stone, on all of the major issues, whether it's trade or climate change or terrorism and security, he can tell us, because he's been the Prime Minister, what does he believe we have more influence in the European Union or outside? And, Mr Speaker, surely the answer is more influence inside the European Union, not outside. And that's why I passionately believe we must remain in the European Union. I'm very grateful to the right honourable gentleman for what he says, and uh, I can't promise to implement any, many other parts of the Labour manifesto, but I'm glad to have been assistance here. But I, I absolutely agree with him. Look, the big picture is this that when it comes to getting things done in the world that can help keep people safe in our country, a bigger, better deal on climate change, do we get more because we're in the EU? Yes. Making sure we have sanctions against Iran that really work and get them to abandon their nuclear program, do we do that through the EU and other bodies? Yes, absolutely. Making sure we stand up to Russian aggression in Ukraine. We have been the absolute linchpin between the European Union and the United States of America in making those sanctions count. If we'd been outside the European Union during that period, we would have been waiting at the end of the phone to find out what the decisions were going to be. Instead, we were making them, we were driving them between Europe and America, and that's how we get things done for our people. Yeah.